What what does it take to be a porn star in the world today? Number one, can you get a hard on in front of a bunch of strangers, like at on command? So hard on on command. Number one. Number two, can you produce a cum shot on demand? That's number two. Number three, you should be above average, you know, size wise. You don't need to be Mandingo, but hey, you know, if you're only packing a thumb, we can't see it when we turn on the fucking cameras and nobody's interested. You know what I mean? Uh, number four, yeah, it is five. Number four, um, it's helpful if you're decent looking. You should, you know, ideally, if you want to, you know, ascend to the, you know, top tier of male performers, you should keep yourself in shape. Be decent looking. And then number five, and this is the one that to me separates the the cheaper performers from the from the guys that transcend a, a, that top dollar value, is can you extract something from the woman that may not have been there beforehand? You know, can you bring something out of her? You know, can you make her believe that it's just you and her in the room and there's not a camera and a crew of 10 people staring at her? If you can do that, that's where you get those amazing scenes because literally for that half hour, she's just cock drunk and she's like not, <laughs> you know, she doesn't even know there's a camera in the room at that point, you know? And then when kind of when she comes to and she's lying in a puddle of cum and everything, she's like, Oh my God, that was great. <laughs> and then she kind of realizes that there's a bunch of fucking strangers staring at her with booms and cameras and stuff, you know? Yeah. But at that point you're wrapped and it's good. You know, everybody's happy.